Welcome back to my channel, at Theatrically Jerry. This is Jerry speaking. Um, today I'm going to do just a really short video um, on an update I've been doing. One of my light consoles, um, the back of it for the Artnet, took an EtherCon, but it was a CN Linko, as you can see here. So, um, the problem with CN Linko is that it is not compatible with the Nutric um, adapter. This is CN Linko's adapter, or their version of a um, EtherCon connector, and they're just as good of quality as a Nutric connector, um, but the CN Linko female port here, Artnet port, it doesn't accept a Nutric male adapter, so it's not cross compatible, and that's a problem for me because um, here in the U.S. we use Nutric 99% uh, of the time, so it just was a small headache for me, but luckily um, I do know how to replace the CN Linko with a Nutric Artnet adapter. It's not um, overtly, com com overtly complicated, um, so that's the CN Linko here, and that Artnet that I just showed you right here, this Artnet port here, um, with the EtherCon on it. I This one I took off of my light console, because like I said, uh, it's not compatible with the new trick. So, I would first for foremost like to thank Sweetwater because Sweetwater um, always sends my stuff out quickly and I did in fact end up ordering a new trick uh, either con adapter for my light console. They have so many different kinds of adapters um, new trick does that they make so it does get to be kind of a headache if you don't know specifically what you need. Uh, luckily I had a pretty good idea of what I needed, so, but how fun is this? They send you um, a little bag of candy, which I think is great marketing, so I got a little bag of candy from them, thank you guys for that. Um, it's part of their Happy New Gear Day deal, and their New Gear Day deal comes with a Sweetwater promotional sticker too and a little book here but we're not going to go into that because we're doing this right now so thank you Sweetwater for sending me my new trick adapter this particular one is a NE8 FDP dash B now the dash B for new trick means black you can of course get it in the typical uh chrome plated but I wanted black for this particular um, light console because all of its ports in the back are black. One thing that I do like and I've stated about Nutric is that they include their parts in a sealed bag that's actually easy to open up so you know it hasn't been used. You just pull this and the bag will open up. Now this is a pass-through either con, meaning it doesn't do a whole lot other than it's passing the signal from the Ethernet cable that's built inside of my light console that connects here, and it's just passing it through to here. Basically, um, it's just making it look nicer by having it on the back of your console like this instead of just having a wire hanging out of the back of your console so it's mostly uh, primarily just looks 
That's why it's called a pass-through, because it's not doing anything other than passing through the information from the Ethernet cable um, that connects here to the RJ45, and it passes it through to here, which is your ArtNet and your EtherCon uh, connector. This is the out, obviously. So I will be installing this today and it's probably going to take all of maybe five minutes to install this. Um, you do have to make sure when you open up your light console, they're all different. So you do have to make sure if you do open your light console up that there is a um, either con RJ45 wire just sitting in there. Then it's going to be a very easy uh, it's going to be a very easy replacement. I say that because um, Nutrick does offer EtherCon ports for ArtNet. Um, obviously in this flavor. I wanted to show you guys how the CN Linko chassis will accept CN Linko connectors, EtherCon connectors, but they won't accept Nutrick connectors, which blows my mind because the CN Linko connector right here and the genuine Nutrick connector are literally the same size. They're also keyed the same. So I never really did figure out why they are not backwards compatible, but this. Um, either kind connector by C and Linko fits perfectly into their connector and you can hear it make a nice click okay so we're gonna remove it now the new trick connector I'm gonna see if I can get in closer so you can really see what's going on here the new trick connector it almost acts like it wants to fit but it doesn't go any further than about 1 16th of an inch into the CN Linko and it won't go any further and I've tried and I also thought maybe this particular port was bad but it's not the port they just aren't compatible but something I did find interesting that I wanted to share with you guys is that the new trick chassis for the EtherCon will accept CN Linko adapters just fine. You get a nice audible click there. And of course they obviously support their own product. So um, something to keep in mind is that the the new trick adapters will accept both which is great because now you have options so if you're traveling and somebody has their systems patch uh, set up has a CN Linko you're good but if you have a CN Linko chassis on the back of your console it's only going to accept this and not new trick so by me upgrading this on my light console, I'm actually getting the ability to accept two different uh, brands of either con connectors. So I just wanted to fill you guys in on that. I found that interesting. Um, so that's it for this video. Like I said, it was going to be a short video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel at Theatrically Jerry. Um, you can also leave your comments down below. I do, re I do read all the comments, so leave a comment down below. I'll read it. I'll respond to it, of course. If, if you have questions about this particular video um, or any questions in general, I'll respond to them. Also, um, I would like to mention that I will be releasing new videos this week, so stay tuned to my channel at Theatrically Jerry. If you haven't already, please subscribe.